Since it's October, I thought there was no better time to create a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, first things first, I just take off the top. Uh, as you can see here, I struggled a bit, but that's just because uh, my pumpkin doesn't have a stem, so I couldn't pull the top off. Uh, after that, it is my least favorite part of the process, and that is uh, pulling all the stuff out of the pumpkin. I think it's just kind of gross, to be honest. Uh, after that, though, it's my favorite part, and that is uh, carving out the face. I, I think it's a fun way to express yourself. And I, Jack, the Pumpkin King, have grown so tired of the same old thing. Good morning, Hart. There are only six days before Halloween. Only six. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I completely forgot to carve my pumpkin. So? <laughs> you don't understand. If you don't carve pumpkins before Halloween, Stingy Jack will get you. Stingy Jack? Yes! His ghost could be in the room right now. And we wouldn't even know it. Who even is that? The old man from Irish legend. He tricked the devil to make him not take his soul when he died. Then, he was imprisoned on Earth as a ghost forever. With only a burning lump of coal, he put in a turnip head, making him Jack of the Lantern. Okay, Ryder, I think you're overacting just a tiny bit, because it's Jack-O-Lantern Day. It's a fun day. People don't understand the dangers, Travis. They just don't understand. Um, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Get ready to walk that red carpet because now it's time for Spotlight on the Arts. Heart, Mrs. Anders here with this week's Spotlight on the Arts. To start things off, our Performing Artist of the Week is Grace Hazlitt. Grace is a senior in Heartbreaker Show Choir and she is also one of their dance captains and featured soloists. Grace juggles her academics, being a scout leader, show choir, and theater and does it with literal grace and poise. Way to go, Gracie! This Saturday, October 26th, the regiment will be hosting Rampage Marching Band Competition at COC. Come out and support the band. Heart performs at 8 p.m. and student admission is $10. Congratulations to the regiment on winning the Sweepstakes Award at the Moore Park competition this past weekend. The regiment also won High Music, High Visual, and Sweepstakes Color Guard. Heart Theater is gearing up for their fall musical, Beetlejuice Junior. Plan on attending on November 14th, 15th, or 16th. You don't want to miss it. This is Mrs. Anders for Spotlight on the Arts, Back to you in the studio. Here's Manny with your weekend weather update. Whew. Hey Hart, I'm here for your weekend weather update. Today, Friday, is going to be a high of 89 and a low of 58. It is going to be sunny. Tomorrow, Saturday, is going to be a high of 91 and a low of 62. It'll be cloudy. And Sunday is going to be a high of 84 and a low of 56. It'll also be cloudy. I'm Manny Mendoza reporting for Hart TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Hart TV caught up with girls volleyball. Here's Luca with the story. What's your name? Sarah McCarthy. My name's Martina Levela. Jessica Zipper. What made you join the sport? Well, I've been playing it since I was little, and just the coaches, they are family friends of mine, so I joined in from them. I joined volleyball because a friend of mine told me I should start playing, and I just tried it, and I ended up really liking it. I started playing club volleyball when I was like 12, and so I just came over to play high school volleyball. Why do you like this sport? It's just really high energy, and like the celebration after you get a point, especially as a hitter, 
It feels great. I really like how team oriented it is and how connected you can become with your team just through like playing the sport and how high energy it can be. I like how high energy it is. I like how team oriented it is. I love this team. So it was a lot of fun playing this season. What's your favorite moment in this sport? My favorite moment in this sport is just probably like any time winning. At the beginning of this year, we beat Valencia in five sets and it was just really exciting. Just any like big kills, any blocks, any big digs, just the energy coming from like the stands and the people and the people on your team. Probably just like uh, on the bench celebrating big points. Like we have all these fun things we do, like we do cartwheels. Uh, one of my teammates, she does the worm, it hits the splits. It's just really cool. Have you ever had any moments of doubt and how did you pull through them? Yeah, this was my first year on varsity. So the beginning of the season was definitely a little rocky for me as I was like kind of finding my place. I just had to remind myself that I'm strong and I can keep pushing myself. Just moments of like having low self-confidence in yourself in the sport and kind of just reminding yourself that like you're on the team for a reason and you made it for a reason and just knowing that like you have what it takes to pull through. Yeah I definitely have uh, coming from being a four-year varsity this season definitely made me question what I want to do after this so but just talking with my coaches and my teammates really pulled me through that. And now, the news. Cross Country competes in Division Three at the Mount SAC Invitational. For those of you going off campus at lunch, if you do not have your ID, you will not be able to leave. If you need an ID, uh, ID card, you can go to the ASB office and get one for $5. On Saturday, November 2nd, from 6 to 8 p.m., there will be a Dia de los Muertos event right here at Hart High School. Join us for activities, prizes, and more. There will be food and drinks available for purchase, and all proceeds will go to help the Amigos Unidos Latino Club. See you there. Clubs. Film Club meets today at lunch in room F11. New members are always welcome. Speech and debate team is meeting Monday at lunch in room F43. New members are always welcome. Now it's time for today's quote of the day. When life gives you pumpkins, make pumpkin pie. Albert Hubbard. Well, that's it for our show. Have a great jack-o'-lantern day and stay classy, heart. <laughs>